Please activate the subtitles. Esse vídeo vai ser dedicado para minha mãe, para o Miguel e para minha irmã. E é um vídeo que eu vou, estou respondendo perguntas que me fizeram no Instagram. No Instagram, e eu vou responder de acordo com a língua. Se me perguntaram em espanhol, eu vou responder em espanhol. Se me perguntaram em alemão, eu vou responder em alemão. Se me perguntaram em português, eu vou responder em português. E é isso. Eu não vi as perguntas ainda, então vai ser tudo no improviso. Pode ser que todo mundo me perguntou em, em inglês, né? Não sei, porque como eu, como eu falo só em inglês no Instagram, no Instagram, pode ser que só me perguntaram em inglês. Não sei, vamos ver. Vou improvisar, vamos ver agora. Então vão ser respostas bem honestas, porque eu nem, nem vi as perguntas antes. Vou só responder o que vier na minha cabeça aqui. E é isso. Estou falando português agora só para iniciar o vídeo, mas vou falar por inglês a partir de agora. Ah, muito importante que, por favor, deixe um comentário, porque isso me ajuda bastante. Muita gente vê o meu vídeo e me manda uma mensagem direta no, no WhatsApp, like, oh, que vídeo legal! Muita gente faz isso. Ou muita gente me manda uma mensagem no Instagram, like, ah, vi, acabei de ver seu vídeo, muito bom! Mas não comentam aqui no YouTube, então acaba que meu canal fica sem, sem comentários. Então, por favor, comentem aqui no, no YouTube, deixem um like e se inscrevam no canal. Quero rever meu canal. Meu canal era muito bom, muito grande... Lá para 2017, 2018, eu colocava um vídeo, tinha milhares de visualizações, se você olhar antigamente. E agora tá meio paradão, então eu quero reviver o meu canal e você, é minha, você é meu amigo, né? Então me ajuda. Então agora, uh, vamos começar o vídeo. So, this question here, any plan going back to the UK? Uh, I know who you are, and I know you want me to go back to the UK, but I, I've got many friends in the UK, you know, I've got, you know, my... It's part of my life, you know, the UK is part of my life, England specifically, London specifically, but unfortunately for you, I've got no plans to go, you know, I've got no plans um, to going back to the UK uh, because of Brexit and many different reasons. And I, I like Ireland, you know, for me, for me, I really want to be here for a long time, for many years. And no, I don't have any plans to, to do that. I'd rather live in a different country, like if I don't, stay here for a long time, if I don't stay here in Ireland, I'd rather go to the Netherlands and live there or go to Japan. Japan is really a country I'd like to live in. No, I have no plans going back to the UK. I'm sorry. All right, the next question is, um, hey Roger, uh, my master, can you help me come to Ireland? Okay, I understand it. So you're in Brazil and you want me to help you live here in Ireland, come here to Ireland. And it's a very, very frequent question I get, like, how can I go to Ireland, uh, make a video on how I can go to Ireland? It's very hard to un answer this question because it, for every person it's different. Every, you may have different kind, a different kind of visa, you know, whether you already have a European passport, if you don't have it, there's a different way. There are many different ways for you to come here and live here legally, but it depends on each case. So yeah, if you want me to help you, I will help you, but just send me a DM. Uh, direct message and I'll, I'll help you somehow, okay? I'll give you my tips, so if, if you need any help, just get in touch and I'm gonna try to help you by telling you what you have to do. But before asking me the question, just go to the internet and find out like what you need in your case and then with your question I can help so Just to complete my answer because I got cut, I got cut off. Anyway, um, so you have homework to do. Before you ask me a question, just watch as many videos as, as you can on YouTube because there are many videos teaching you how to come here and, le and live legally here and get your specific visa because seriously for each person uh, the situation is going to be different and the solution is going to be different so please do your homework watch as many videos as you can on YouTube on how to live here legally in Ireland and then after that after watching many videos then you're going to have some questions you know and then send me a question send me a, your DM and you say, okay, I've got a specific questions because I want you to ask me specific questions. I don't want to be teaching you like from scratch how to come here and live in Ireland because there's there's some so you know there are so many things on the internet already. So just do your homework and then ask me specific questions, and I'm going to help you for sure. All right, this question here is why can I understand what you said nearly a hundred percent? Okay, well for two different reasons. The first reason is that your listening skill is really well developed, so you can listen really well. You've probably been exposed to English for a long time, and I know you. You asked me this question, I know who you are, and I know that you have been exposed to English for a long time, so that's why first, your listening skill has really been developed, and you've been immersed into English. Uh, but the second reason is that here on Instagram, and whenever, 
And whenever I'm talking to my students, I speak really slowly because I want to make myself really clear. I don't want to make mistakes, you know, because I'm a teacher. And what do I sell? My product is selling language, so I can't make mistakes. So I'm really aware of what I say. But when I'm talking, whenever I'm talking to a native speaker, I speak in a different way. I don't care whether I make mistakes or not. And it's different, you know, because I grade my language. That's why. All right, this next question is whether I'm really a vegetarian and the, que and the answer is yes, I am. I'm really a vegetarian. Um, for example, the last time I ate chicken was last, mm, I can't remember, but I think it was a long time ago, maybe like three, three or four days ago. And I remember, yeah, it's, uh, I don't want to get emotional right now because I ate uh, my hen. I used to have a hen. Her name was Genoveva and she she was just she was only she used to feed on on grass so the only kind of chicken i've ever had was um the ones that would feed on grass so i consider myself to be really a vegetarian i'm a vegetarian because i only eat animals who eat the animals who eat grass like cows porks uh, you know pigs and also chicken all right, the next question is if I miss my home country. Well, as you know, I'm Brazilian and I don't really miss my home country. I love Brazil, as you know. Um, I'm not a very patriotic person, but it doesn't mean that I hate Brazil at all. Of course not. I, I, I love Brazil, but I don't miss my country. I miss some people there. I miss, uh, feel, uh, I miss a few people there, like my mother, uh, Miguel, my sister, Leonard, Enzo. Carol, uh, I miss people from Brazil, you know, my friends, uh, but I don't, I, I don't actually miss anybody, I don't miss the country itself, you know, especially because here in Ireland, Ireland is just like, I mean, Dublin is just like another city from Brazil, you, you, you bump into Brazil people everywhere, you know, like when you're walking on the street, you hear people speaking Portuguese all the time, so it's just another city from Brazil, basically, so I don't miss Brazil per se. Okay, the next question is, if I'd rather be in a zombie apocalypse or a robot AI apocalypse? Well, I think that the second, the latter, is something that is going to it's going to happen anyway. And the first one is just like a, um, a fiction thing, so I'm not sure whether it will actually ever happen. But I'd rather be in a zombie apocalypse because then I'd be able to just kill them. Zombies are really slow and I'm really fast. You know, my ex-girlfriend used to call me Mr. Fast, so... I just run away from them and kill them from behind. And yeah. And my girlfriend, my ex girlfriend, used to say that I was great, excellent from behind. So I think I've got the skills for that. Uh, as opposed to fighting AI robots, you know, that would be harder because they think too, too quickly. And yeah, yeah. So I'd rather be in a zombie apocalypse for sure. Yeah, the second question is if I would rather master every musical instrument or every type of sport. Okay, um, I like sports and I'm a, I'm a sportsman uh, and I like playing instruments. I, or I can play the bass guitar and the electric guitar and acoustic guitar, of course, and I play the keyboard and I play the drums. I consider myself a drummer. I'm a drummer because I've played in many, you know, heavy metal bands and death metal bands and metal in general. So I play many instruments already and I like playing sports. I like football, of course, because I'm Brazilian, so it's in my DNA. So football, I like playing rugby as well because I'm strong and I like the rules and everything. So, yeah, and I like golf. I think I'd rather play different kinds of sports, you know, master every type of sport because then I would be able to interact with different people. And I already know how to play the instruments that I love. So that's it. The first question here is whether I've experienced, I've ever experienced any uh, culture shock here in Ireland. Well, as you know, I'm Brazilian, but I haven't really experienced any kind of, sh of culture shock because, as you know, I've always been immersed into the British culture, and I think it's really similar. You know, the Ar Irish culture is very similar to the British culture. I mean, British culture in general. Uh, no, I haven't experienced anything crazy. Something that I know, and I have to point out, is that Brazilian people really speak up like on the bus, so they keep talking, and in Portuguese, I think that it's because they think that nobody can understand them, so 
uh, when I, whenever I'm on the bus, for example, and I hear pe Brazilian people speaking, they're always talking about like very intimate things. And it's really funny because they think that nobody can understand them. But I think that half of the bus can because there are so many Brazilian people here and Irish people are really silent on the bus. I mean, in general, in general, of course, I'm generali generalizing, but that's the answer for this first question. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like my page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, especially on Instagram because I post videos there on a daily basis. And yeah, that's it. Uh, join my group on WhatsApp and download my free English course. Read the description down below. If you don't need to, to, it's to study in English anymore, just send my course to a friend. It's completely free of charge. So thank you very much and I'll see you later.